everybody that is on the phone or across the country, all the dreamers, we need to breathe today. Uh, but I want to talk about the moment that we're in. To be honest with you, I don't feel a sense of loss. And let me tell you why. Because we have not lost. I don't want to grieve because we have not lost. We're barely getting started. Yeah. I mean, I feel we're getting started. I mean, my mother just texts me. And I keep talking about my mother. <laughs> but my mother just texts me. And she, she said to me on the text, it's a little bit sad, but we have to fight. Sure. Okay? So what I want to make sure that we know and we take over with this is that I feel very deep that we're just in the second time of this soccer game. We're in the second time. We just lost a player. And we don't know what to do. We feel a little anxious. Right? We know what strategy we're going to do, how we're going to score. But we're on the game. And it's just a matter of time before we win. So today, it's just a start. We have, what, another 50? Let's talk concretely. We have 50 more days. The Senate is still going to be here. We're still going to be here. We're still going to have a life in the U.S. So my plan, my proposal for all of us is that this is the time to turn up the heat. That's right. There is no grieving, again, as I said, because we have not lost. In just a, what, five, six, seven days that this came up, there's 30 people here in D.C., thousands of people across the country. Imagine that we have 10 more days. Mm. What can we Woo! do? <laughs> so we have right now a choice. The people that are watching this on their homes, right? And they feel what's going on. What's this? You know what this means? It's a wake-up call. Wake up. Because if tomorrow that Senate... We need to start, they need to start charging us for all the calls we're making to their offices. <laughs> but tomorrow we're going to call more. Tomorrow we're going to mobilize more. And we know that we have the commitment of a lot of supporters in the Senate to make this a reality. Maybe the procedure today did not work. But that doesn't mean that everything is gone. And there is one thing that they cannot take from us. You cannot tell an immigrant that has been active to keep suffering what we've been suffering. You cannot take away from a student the desire of education because a bill will not happen. You cannot take away from us the hope that we have in our hearts just because the legislation doesn't happen. Those things were going to happen. 